Hello, and welcome back to InfoIndex. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to solve linear systems. So what is a linear system? Well, it's a subset of something called systems of equations, which are a set or collection of equations that you deal with all together at once. A linear system contains two equations and two variables. There are two main methods to solve a linear system, substitution and elimination. Now these are the steps for the substitution method. Isolate one equation for one variable, Substitute that equation into the other equation and solve. Substitute the value of the known variable into one of the original equations to solve for the value of the other variable. Here's an example problem. So your first equation is x plus 3y is equal to negative 5, and 2x minus 3y is equal to 8. Feel free to pause the video whenever you want. So what I did was I isolated x from equation a and got x equals negative 5 minus 3y, and I substituted this value into equation b. So 2 times negative 5 minus 3y is equal to 8, and therefore y equals negative 2. Now if you substitute this value back to equation a, you get x plus 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 5. And if you solve this, you get x equals 1, so therefore x equals 1 and y equals negative 2. Now here's another example. So here are your two equations again, 5x plus 2y equals 7, and 3x minus 5y equals negative 2. So now we can isolate x from equation a, and we get x equals 7 minus 2y divided by 5. And we can substitute this value into equation b. So we get 3 times 7 minus 2y over 5 minus 5y is equal to negative 2. And then when you simplify it, you get 21 minus 6y minus 25y is equal to negative 10, and therefore y equals 1. Now you can substitute this back into equation a, and you get 5x plus 2 times 1 is equal to 7 equals 1, and therefore x equals 1, and y equals 1. So now this is the second method, elimination. The first step is to multiply one of the equations by a constant in order to obtain the same coefficient for the same variable in the other equation if necessary. Then if the signs of the coefficients are the same, subtract the two equations. If the signs are different, add the two equations. This will eliminate one of the variables. And lastly, substitute the value of the known variable into one of the original equations to solve for the value of the other variable. Now this might sound a little confusing, but once we do an example, it will make much more sense. So here are your two equations, x plus 5y equals 8, and x plus y equals 4. So we notice that the coefficient on x in both equations is 1. So we can subtract the two equations to get 4y is equal to 4. And when you solve this for y, you get y equals 1. You substitute this back into equation a, and you get x plus 5 times 1 is equal to 8, x equals 3, and therefore x equals 3 and y equals 1. Now here's a harder example. So your two equations are 3x plus 4y equals 18, and 2x minus 8y is equal to 4. So right off the bat, we notice that none of the coefficients on any of the variables are the same. So we'll have to multiply one of them by a constant in order to get the same coefficient. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and therefore if we multiply equation a by 2, we get 6x plus 8y is equal to 36, and we'll call this equation c. Now equation b and equation c have the same coefficients on y, so we can add the 2 to get 8x is equal to 40, and therefore x equals 5, and we can substitute this back into equation a. 3 times 5 plus 4y is equal to 18. Now as a summary, there are two ways to solve linear systems which are two equations with two variables. The two ways are substitution and elimination. These two methods can also be used when there are more variables, such as three variables and three equations. But you always need the same number of equations as you have variables in order to solve the system. I hope you all learned a lot from this video. Thank you for watching, and remember to like and subscribe for more new content.